Wheel machine or robot? You won't believe our answer. Welcome to this week's Primed Insight. Do you have a need to greatly improve productivity or simply want to remove the blaster from an environment of excessive noise and continuous hazards? Are you thinking about automation as a solution? Well, you're not alone. A lot of our clients are thinking the same thing. What's my return on investment? How much do they cost? How much can I blast in a day? Well, these are all questions that really depend on the project, but can be answered during Blast One's pre-construction process through our Building Integrated Solutions Division, or BIS. It's my job to guide you through the design process, but that's not why you're here. You're wondering, do I want a wheel machine or robotic blasting machine? Well, here are some pros and cons to each, and in the end, I'll give you the answer. For the sake of this discussion, here are the part sizes I'm referring to. For a small part, I'm thinking anything less than a five foot cube. On a medium part, we're gonna go anything larger than a five foot cube to a 10 by 10 by 30 foot long. And for a large part, I'm thinking anything bigger than that. So the pros of a wheel machine are easy to use. They're consistent and predictable. Can be very fast. Easily integrated into moving production lines. In the end, they're the best solution for small to medium sized flat steel, unfabricated pipe or simple structures. So the cons, not flexible whatsoever high wear and high maintenance costs, often misused, used in applications that may not be well suited for it, only used with steel grit or shot. In the end, they're not great for large parts, fabricated pipe pieces, thin steel, or non-ferrous metals. The pros to a blast main robotic machine are completely flexible, can be used with any style abrasive, and product size is no limitation. Complex parts are no limitation very manageable maintenance costs. In the end, they're the best solution for medium to large sized, complex geometry parts requiring blasting with an angular media. So the cons of a robotic blasting machine, less suited to continuous flow production, usually requires some kind of programming. Robots will take over the world someday. In the end, they're not great for small flat plate and simple structures. In closing, the answer to the burning question, a wheel machine or a robot is, well, it depends. Completely depends on what you're doing. We sell both. So give us a call and let us help you figure out which one works best for your application. Thanks for watching this week's Primed Insight. See you next week.